Today I'm going to be showing you a new variation on dice cartilage fascia graft creation. I call it shaved cartilage fascia graft creation and I think it's going to be a really cool advancement in creation of dorsal grafts for uh, augmentation rhinoplasty of the bridge and ethnic rhinoplasty. Now here you see me using a stainless steel autoclavable spice grater to shave down um, fresh frozen rib graft cartilage into ultra fine thin micro slices. Now because these slices are so thin it's very easy for the body to increase the blood supply and increase the survivability of these cartilage grafts. Here you see me going ahead and drying these tiny shavings. Once they're dry, they're going to look like fine shaved coconut. These fine shavings then can be easily packed into the temporalis fascia uh, to create the SCF graft, which is my version of the DCF graft or diced cartilage fascia graft. Now these little slivers of cartilage are very, very fine, so you can pack in a good amount of dice cartilage. Um, and so the graft is firm and it's well packed and can maintain its height and dimensions quite nicely. Here I'm using absorbable suture to suture the temporalis fascia into a tube shape. This tube shape becomes the new dorsal implant or bridge implant made out of temporalis fascia from the patient and uh, the tiny little slices of cartilage graft from the fresh frozen rib graft specimen. This makes a beautiful strong uh, tube shaped graft that can build up the bridge in a nice uh, uniform manner.
Here you see the final product of the graft, and it will be able to augment or build up the bridge of somebody who has a deficient bridge, such as an Asian patient or an African American patient. It can be used to correct um, uneven contours, and it can be used to overall increase the height of the bridge to make the nose look a little bit more harmonious on the face. Um, because these graphs show good viability, I think this is going to be an excellent technique for the advanced rhinoplasty surgeon to use.